Hello everyone and welcome to another markets review. I'm gonna talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum in this one, discuss future game plans. Pretty interesting stuff happened over the past few days, so we've got a lot to talk about, all right? Before we get into the charts, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Bybit, the sponsor of my videos. A link is in the description, you can sign up there. If you do, you can get up to $30,000 in bonuses and get free access to my Discord group. If you did, make an account and make a deposit using the link in the description. Make sure you send me a message on Discord or on Twitter and we'll sort things out. If you've used the link, you can also get Coin Market Manager, um, the analytics website where you can get all your, your equity curves and stats on your trading. All those paid features also for free. All right, so definitely worth checking it out. Head over to the description and make your account right now. Also leave a like on the video, please. It takes one second and subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already, so you get notified whenever I post a fresh video. All right, so let's get into the charts. Um, starting off with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin uh, still with trading within this monthly range, um, this monthly candle from back in June, June high, June low being the main range for me. Okay, as you can see, range mean pivotal, now trading in the upper half of the trading range. We've still got those highs unswept and we're trading above range mean, which means our high time frame bias for, he for, um, for the time being is still bullish towards the upside until we sweep that 32K level, all right? Um, if we break below range mean and start closing below here on a weekly basis, that's when everything changes for me and then I'll be targeting range lows unless we get a reclaim of that range mean level, okay? Um, so heading over to the daily, marking out some key levels um, here, the highs, the lows, still trading within that same area, okay? We've been chopping there for ages then um, came back for the lows, swept the lows, started consolidating on the lower time frames right here, okay? Then, boom, broke below the lows. Quick deviation or quick sweep of some lows here, boom. And as soon as we reclaimed back into that consolidation, we straight up went for the other side of that local range um, and saw a nice pump, okay? What does that mean for me personally? As long as we now stay above these lows, we could see more upside, in my opinion, back towards the highs, potentially these highs, and potentially even 32K, okay? What would invalidate all of this? Well, a break back below these lows. So if we break below here, then we're likely going for these lows, and at that point, probably, into the 24, 25K region, okay? But until we do so, right, we now have a clean invalidation for longs, okay? So price deviated below here, swept, okay? Breakout, strong weekly close. So as long as we hold above this consolidation, I personally see no re reason to be ultra bearish, okay? And instead, I'm cautiously uh, bullish looking for longs uh, targeting higher prices okay I did long up here already half size so nothing big and I wasn't um, ex anticipating a, a sweep this low to be honest I was looking for a sweep of these lows up here a quick wick and then break back inside and higher prices that's not what we got but things are not invalidated yet okay um, now, what I want to see here for bulls is a break back above this consolidation. That's the area where bears stepped in and pushed price lower. So if we get a retest there and get rejected, that wouldn't be a good sign. At that point, probably look for a short all the way towards here again um, and towards the local low that we've made there. If price starts breaking above this area, right? then we can start talking again about higher prices. But for now, right, we need a break above this consolidation 
that sent us lower. That, that area also lines up with this form range, um, range high level. So clean invalidation there for bears. If we get in there, right, invalidation would be up here. Um, if we break above here, right, then we start talking about higher again. Okay, so low time frame, I would say, look for bounces to get short back towards the lows. On the daily, right, you want to see bullish price action down here. As I said, on the lower time frames, might get a bounce, but on the on the daily, right, look for dips, look for local sweeps to get long back towards this area. So let's clear it up and say that again, okay? So let's say we don't go for the highs, don't go for this area and instead go for the lows again. I'll be looking for day trade longs, okay? Towards this area with invalidation below here. If we get upside first, right? I'll look for shorts there targeting the lows, okay? So that's the short setup. And that would be the long setup. So these are the main plays that I'm currently watching, okay? On the lower time frames, right? Higher time frames, as I said, I want to see a break above this region for swing longs targeting 32K. Until then, probably we chop within this range, okay? So let's take a quick look at Ethereum now. Um, okay, let's remove that for now. So Ethereum, in my opinion, looks a lot better than Bitcoin. Um, same thing for Ethereum, local trading range, range low, range high, right? Price swept the highs, price swept the lows and then strong reclaim and a strong weekly close above this local range, okay? As long as we stay above this local range, we've got equal highs here and a clean high resting up here, untapped supply all the way up here. So in my opinion, Ethereum, as long as we stay above this area, looks good for higher prices. What's the lower time frame range, okay? Lows, highs, price swept the lows, highs are unswept. So if we manage to break just like Bitcoin above the consolidation that sent price lower, so break above here, I think ETH could put in some nice candles all the way up into, um, well, above the 2K area, okay? Something that stands out to me as well is the strength of Ethereum Bitcoin, right? We've been watching this on the higher time frames in this high time frame trading range where we've been trading for ages. Um, price is slowly breaking back above these key levels, okay? And showing strength obviously on the daily and on the lower time frames. We've just been grinding to the upside. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next target for Ethereum Bitcoin is up here, okay? So with that being said, it would be the best play to look for Ethereum longs over Bitcoin longs, if you're bullish on Ethereum Bitcoin. On this one, the higher time frames, nothing too much happened. I want to see a weekly close above this former wick. If we do so, I'll be targeting these range highs, the highs up here, okay? But until then, this could still wick, break and close back below and still go for the lows. So just playing it level to level, day by day, um, and that's how you do it, okay? So plans are clear for Bitcoin. If we go up first, I'll be looking for shorts. If we go down first, I'll be looking for longs. Ethereum is looking better in my opinion, but to be honest, the same play, okay? Um, we need a break above those local supply zones, all right? I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.